So here we have a parabola going through the point 6, negative 60, and it tells us both x-intercepts. Here it says the word zeros. The zeros of the function are negative 4 and 2. We want to write the graph in general form. Okay? General form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, so far, we've learned three forms of the quadratic equation, quadratic function. The general form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. The standard form, which is y equals a x minus p all squared plus q. The standard form is the vertex form. And we've learned the factored form. Because this one tells us what the zeros are, whenever you know what the zeros are, that is a hint to use the factored form. Remember, the factored form has your a value out in front, one factor, and then the other factor. Since we know what the zeros are, negative 4 and 2, we can ask ourselves, what would have to be in these brackets to get an x-intercept of negative 4? This one would have to be x plus 4 in order to get negative 4 as an x-intercept. And in order to get an x-intercept or a 0 of 2, this one would need to be x minus 2. So just like the standard form, you needed to find an a value, a p value, and a q value. If you want to write something in factored form, you need to have a value for x1, a value for x2. Those come from your zeros. And you'll also need to find a value for a. So the fact that we were given the zeros told us two of them right away. All we have left to find is our a value. So we have to use the last piece of information that we were given. We're told another point it passes through. Any point that your graph passes through makes your equation true. This point, 6, negative 60, means that when x is equal to 6, y is equal to negative 60. So we can plug that in. We know that when our x values 6, y is negative 60. Still don't know a, but I know x will be 6. And here we'll have negative 60 equals a times by 10 times 4 will be 40. Divide both sides by 40. 60 over 40 simplifies to 3 over 2. And now we have our a value. So now we know that our equation in factored form, we figured out our a value is 3 over 2, x plus 4, x minus 2. The question asked us to write our final equation in general form. So we just need to multiply this out. I'll multiply those two together first. x plus 4 times x minus 2 will be x squared plus 2x minus 8. And now if I distribute that negative 3 over 2, I'll get negative 3 over 2x squared minus 3x plus 12. And question number 8 is one you can do for practice here. We are going to skip example 4. 
and we are done section 4.6.